We begin tonight in western Arizona, where La Paz County is losing water. No one knows exactly how much or how much is left, and it's causing officials to raise new questions about how our state monitors its most precious resource. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. For 12 News at 10, I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Rachel Cole. Now this all is because experts can't really estimate how much groundwater is in the ground, and as of now, the state doesn't have a way to track its use. Tonight, Team 12's William Pitts explains why some are concerned that the county might be used to make money by selling their water. Green and brown, the two colors of La Paz County. It's the water that decides what color the county will be. Every few blocks, there's a well, a straw in the ground, sucking up water, water that won't last forever. La Paz County Supervisor Holly Irwin wants to know how much water her county has left. She wants a survey of all the groundwater. So if you don't know what's underneath the ground, how can you even determine how much, you know, your supply and demand is going to be? But there's a problem. Actually, there are a lot of problems. I know that funding is, is, a, is a major part of it, you know, which the county doesn't have the funds in order to conduct these hydrology studies. Funding aside, figuring out how much water is underground is not like measuring a pool. The water is not like an underground lake. It's not as if there are just these layers, the pockets of water. This is, yeah. we're talking about water that's hold in the tiny spaces between, uh, you know, the, the material that are the layers of the earth. Sarah Porter with the Kyle Center for Water Policy at ASU says the best we can really do is guess. It's very hard. Um, hydrologists have to figure out basically the shape of the aquifer and then they can estimate down to a certain depth. But arguably more critical, you have to know how much is coming out of the ground. And in rural parts of Arizona, groundwater is not regulated. So we have no idea. Because of the lack of regulation and, you know, no metering or anything, we don't even have an idea how much is coming out of the ground. No metering means there's nothing on these wells that records how much water goes through them. These wells are owned by Fondamonte, a Saudi Arabian alfalfa company that has thousands of acres in La Paz County. Just one of the new wells that Fondamonte built could pump 3,000 gallons a minute. If it's running at full power all day, every day, that's 1.5 trillion gallons a year for just one well. And there are a lot of wells. Water consumption is only growing in certain areas because of irresponsible uh, practices. Congressman Ruben Gallego sponsored a bill to tax foreign-owned companies like Fondamonte who grow water-intensive crops, a 300 percent tax rate. A lot of La Paz County, you know, property owners that dig wells uh, and you know, rely on well water for uh, their water are now having to compete against you know, a multi-billion dollar company uh, who has no problem digging dip deeper and deeper wells from the same water table. But the bill does not address the ability to pump water unrestricted for anyone, foreign or domestic. Foreign farms might pay, but they can still pump. It's for all of us to be able to determine, you know, what, how long we can anticipate, you know, that water being here and the quality of it as well. You need to know not only how much water is there, but you also really, really need to know how much demand is there. And then given that information, people would be able to estimate uh, you know, how long until all the groundwater is used up. And there's another side effect of unregulation that worries Holly Irwin. She's worried water will be the new land grab and the homes of La Paz County will suffer. You're going to have people that are just going to come here to market that water and make millions and millions of dollars and remove it off the Colorado River into, you know, who knows what area. It's not far-fetched. The county's already in a lawsuit trying to stop the sale of water from land held by our water investment firm to the town of Queen Creek. Experts say there are a lot of hoops the companies have to jump through in order to buy and sell water, but the fact that this one made it this far worries Holly Irwin. The pumps keep pumping, bringing up a natural resource that's still uncounted. In La Paz County, William Pitts, 12 News. All right, well, thank you.